beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We're going to continue our lessons with etymology, the English language, America's history, and witchcraft. And America has a history that's all laid out. We're taught it in our schools, but they don't teach us is witchcraft and how it has involved in every aspect of America's life. We've been studying many key words in the American language and America's history. We've gone through the president's names. We've gone through quite a di few different things. A few videos back, we talked about Plymouth Rock, which the pilgrims, when they came to America, our very first forefathers that landed in America were called the Pilgrims, and they landed at Plymouth Rock. And like I said, we've already mirrored Plymouth Rock and went over that. But now let's talk about the ship, the boat that they came on. The name of the boat or ship that they came on was called the Mayflower, yes? And the story is that the pilgrims were being persecuted by the king and the church, and they weren't allowed to freely believe and study and worship Jesus Christ. So they wanted to come to America so that they could freely perse persevere their own religious beliefs. Correct? That's the story of the Mayflower and the pilgrims landing at Plymouth Rock. So let's go ahead and, okay, and so... In the Bible, Jesus says that he will send his disciples out as sheep unto the wolves. Yes? And he said that if you will believe in Jesus, him, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you would be persecuted. And that the wolves will devour his sheep. Yes. I'm ad libbing this, but I just want to give that part of the story so that when we look at the Mayflower, it will make a, just a little bit more sense. We know that America, right now, in today's time and era, right now, in the year 2021, that there is an agenda of taking out Jesus Christ and uh, the Bible out of all America. They want a one world religion. And we've gone over quite a few things talking about how America is being designed and set up to deceive people. And it's not just to deceive people so that the government can be corrupt but it could be much deeper they might be trying to deceive people for their soul so let's go ahead and look at this we're going to go ahead and look at the word mayflower this was our first americans as a matter of fact i met somebody that went uh, can direct his lineage all the way to the Mayflower. He has one of he has the same name as the one of the passengers. So I mean we can follow these stories. I mean it's really amazing how it, the lineage is all there. I'm not trying to sit there and say all that I'm saying is that there's witchcraft in our American language and it counteracts the story that we're being told. So let's go ahead and Mere Mayflower, okay? And that will look like this. 
Re-wolf-yam. Okay? R-E-wolf-yam. And so if people left Europe because they're being persecuted, but the story says they're going to America for freedom, but if we mirror Mayflower, it says re, which we all know like renew, Redo, resold, report, re wolf. Maybe they were sent back out to be re wolfed. I don't know. Let's go look at what the word ya, ya means, okay? Let's see if we can't get a little bit more into this word here. And ya right here, Y-A, is a variation of ya. So Y-A is a variation of ya, Y-A-H. Well, it doesn't give us a definition of Y-A-H, so let's go look at Y-A-H and see what it says. And that is right here. And if we go up to Y A H. There's two. The first one is used to express disgust, contempt, defiance, or derision. So just like America, it says how it defecates on America. Our first people that came over here are re, wolf, full of disgust, but there's a second definition for Yah. Let's go read it and see what Yah is. Yah or Jah. It's Hebrew. Yah. It stands for Yahweh. Yahweh. The correct pronoun, I shouldn't say the correct pronunciation, but one of the pronunciations of Jesus. Yahweh is the Hebrew name of Jesus. So if we took the Mayflower that brought over our first, if America doesn't have a story if it doesn't have pilgrims coming to America to start a new nation. And for them to get here, they took a ship called the Mayflower. Could have been named anything, but our history says it was named Mayflower. We're going to mirror Mayflower, and it says, Re Wolf Yahweh. Of course, the M is not being used at this particular moment. Maybe it goes deeper. I'm just doing this as fast as I can. I take two minutes. I go and I'm like blown away of how much. Would I be able to figure out more if I had more time, more dictionaries, uh, a better desk? <laughs> Better equipment than just paper. Maybe help with people that are smarter than me. Most likely, I would think so. But as it is and stands uh, right now, the Mayflower, if we use witchcraft, which America's language, English, and the American history does, and we mirror it, it would say, Rewolf Jesus Christ. Or, re-wolf with disgust. Again, why does the English language have one of content, disgust, and then the other definition would be Yahweh? Would that make any sense to anybody? Is it starting to make sense to anybody? Hmm. 